me. And it's Christmas time almost. Uh, we're about a month away, so we thought this would be the perfect time to kind of give you out there a holiday buying guide. Now, I will mention some new games, but most of this is really themed towards games that maybe you haven't played that you can pick up almost anywhere for the cheap. This is for, you know, maybe not the next-gen gamers. We're not talking about the spoiled rich kid gamers. We're talking about the everyman gamer. We're talking about, hey, if you have kids, you're like, here, let me go to this three-year-old game that you won't care about, but you'll enjoy nonetheless. So, let's start it off, and I just wanted to give a couple games, really two, for little kids that you could get them. Again, these are older games that you could get. They'll have a blast with. You know, it doesn't really matter. And one of them is you can really get any kid any Pokemon game. Really any Pokemon game. You can go back to getting the original red or blue, and they'd be happy with it. Yeah, although... uh... I mean, they're, they're not they're not as expensive as they are now, but the, the Pokemon games are one of the ones that like kind of have kept high value for a long time. At least most of them. There's a few of them that are pretty cheap. Don't get yeah. don't get Snap though. Don't get Snap. Don't don't do that to your kid. What? Snap is awesome. You just love Pokemon. Drive, you you just take random pictures of Pokemon. That's not a real game. That was awesome. You throw Talk stuff like at them. They would give that to you for free as you a make slow bro. You make you make Slowpoke turn into a slow bro by throwing apples at him, and then he tries to fish, and it's like, and then you take the picture while he's evolving. It's like, oh yay! Also, Pikachu surfs on a surfboard. Okay. On a better note, Jelani Jenkins, <laughs> our boy Jelani Jenkins, well, not our boy. He went to the same school I did. He just recovered a fumble. Oh no, they didn't give it to him. That's a joke. But I'm sorry. But yeah, so any Pokemon game you could give to kids, um, they would love it. And then I'm don't get them go- Rumble though. Don't give them Pokemon Rumble. Okay, no Pokemon Snap, no Pokemon Rumble. I don't care what Brendan says. Don't get them Snap. If snap is awesome. If don't you, do if you it. Want to encourage them to be artists, and photographers. Don't get them get Snap. Them. <laughs> don't do it to your kids. No Rumble, no Snap. Any other one, you're fine. And you can get that on pretty much every Nintendo system out there. So it doesn't yeah. matter what you have, you can get it for them. Um, and then I'm going to go with Minecraft because that is one that will inspire creativity with kids. And there's such uh, there's so many things to do. I, I've heard of like little kids like 9, 10 years old that run around with their friends building little things or, oh, let's fight off the goblins here, blah, blah, blah. You know, and it's just a good child-friendly game that you can get for anybody. Yeah, and I it does inspire still even, I think you can still even get the, uh, the pre-official release one for free or something like that if you wanted to start there and then get something later. But anyway, yeah. So something nice and cheap. Did you have any suggestions for kid gamers? <sighs> for kid gamers... Maybe not, but I can tell you something. If if you need to get something for your brother or your sister, then I got some suggestions. I got some okay. for you, Brian. Okay. <laughs> let's move on to those then. <laughs> so those are your, your suggestions for kid gamers. And let's move on to games that you get can give Mario. for your brother Just get the mini Mario sister. game, whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah, any Mario game. That works. Anything with Mario is kid-friendly, so go for it. Yeah. But go ahead, Brendan. Throw us out some of the games that you... Uh, Okay, Brian knows Get this one brother would sisters. be... Yeah, Brian would know this one's coming. I have, in fact, gotten this for a brother or sister previously. That's Brutal Legend. Um, pre- oh, brutal Legend. Preferably for the PS3, I would say, because you can find that. Um, I, I saw it the other day for 3 bucks, right? But it's one of my favorite games of all time now. And I played it on the PS3. It's just one of those games that kind of slipped under the radar. They had really terrible marketing for it um but it was a great game highly acclaimed um i think you can also find it now on uh, on computers like i think i have um, a version of it lying around and you can find it on all platforms pc um windows mac uh linux even they have it with some dlc right um so that's pretty good but i would say if i don't know what that costs but seriously if you're at gamestop you're going to probably find it for like three bucks yeah and yeah. many other stores under ten dollars under under twenty dollars great game um a couple games that i was thinking of you know cheap games that you get get but are still awesome games that a lot of people might have missed um arkham asylum that was the first one of the batman arkham games that came out arkham city as well which was even better than Arkham Asylum, but Arkham Asylum was awesome. You could get that for under ten bucks, easy. You, I think you can download that from either PlayStation Store or Xbox Store for under ten bucks. So awesome games. Um, there was an infamous one and two, both of those amazing mm-hmm. games, and you can get those packs for cheap. 
Uh, I think yeah. when they were brand new, they were like 30 bucks. So Yeah, along similar lines, I would say uh, also check out, um, I guess, hopefully you have a PS3 for this, for several of these that we're suggesting, but um, Uncharted 1 and 2, that's, there's a bundle for that too, and I think that it's, it's also around 30 bucks to get two very good games, um, introduction to the, the series, and there's a few more games after that. So you kind of build your way up to having uh, more games to give out. Uh, Uncharted 3, if they already have 1 and 2, uh, I've been seeing for pretty cheap too, like 10 bucks, 15 bucks. So. And then here's some games that you can get that might be more expensive. They might be the full $60 price tag, but they'll encompass a whole bunch of games. And I'll give you one for Xbox and PlayStation. Uh, for the Xbox, you can go out and get your Master Chief collection. Uh it has X, uh, Halo 1, 2, 3, and 4. You can get them all for about 60 bucks. So mm, can't go wrong with that. Do you want those? You've heard yeah, about the matchmaking you know, problems, right? Well, whatever. Whatever with the matchmaking. You can still play the games 1, 2, 3, and 4, which were all really good games. Yes, the multiplayer is the best part of it. Don't get me wrong. But they will fix that eventually, and you will have a good time with it. That's just okay. one of them. That's a great value. That is a great value. And then there's the Mass Effect trilogy. I do believe they call it Mass Effect Legacy Collection or something like that. It gives you Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3 with all the DLCs, I, I believe, um, all split up into different discs. Which, if you haven't played Mass Effect, what are you doing? That is one of the greatest stories told on the last generation of, of consoles out there. It's just, it was awesome. Amazes me, all I gotta say. Amazes me. Amazes Yes, that is improper use of the English language. And then, okay, let's say you are going to be buying for your spoiled rich kids um, and buying them $60 games, and you're going to be buying a couple of them. Here's, I think the, and, Halo, the Halo pack had to be like that already, wasn't it? $60, that's a value. That's a value. The Mass Effect <laughs> because Trilogy, there's four two. Games. <laughs> because there's four games. You're getting four games for 60 you know, Mass Effect Trilogy, you're getting three games for 60 You know what I'm saying? That, that That's where the values were on those. But let's just talk about some new games that have hit the market that every little kid wants to get. Uh, not little kids. Let's go with teenage gamers and up. Um, games that I've seen that have done really, really well. Shadow Mordor is one of those. You're still going to find that at a $60 price tag. You might find it for $50 used somewhere. But that will still be one of those higher-end price tags. But... That has gotten great reviews. It looks like an amazing, amazing game. I will be getting it eventually one of these days. But um, then you have Destiny. That is out there. I'm a big Destiny fan. You mm -hmm. will be still paying $60 for it, but it is an amazing game. A lot of fun to have, be had there. And that um, is available on multiple platforms. And I think if, I think still if you get the if you got them like a digital code to get the digital version for the PS3, if they ever get the PS4 in the future, they yes, can Yes, that is what I did. Upgrade. I got the digital version on the PS3 and so whenever I switch over to PS4, it will let me download the game there. Um, and then you of course uh, you know it's November it's I guess it's the end of November, beginning of December. So there's a new Call of Duty out there. Advanced Warfighter has gotten some pretty good reviews. A lot of people do like it. So that's out there. Another big one right now. Um, if you got that Wii U, is Super Smash Brothers. I already have it. It's but it's been a pretty big deal. Everyone wants it. Um, to the extent that I, I showed it to a few of my coworkers who all were like, oh, we don't care about the Wii U. That's not for serious gamers. They saw Smash Brothers. Like, okay, we now we we need to get a Wii U. we got to find a good deal on the Wii U so we can get this game, and we need the GameCube controller adapter so we can play any way we want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's, so it's, it's lighting up. And then you have Dragon Age Inquisition just came out. I haven't played that one myself, but again, I've heard really good things about that one. And then for the kids, for the littler kids, pick up a Lego Batman game. Oh, for the cheap games, go pick them up any of those Lego games for any of the systems. Those are apparently a those lot of fun. Those are solid games. Yeah, they're really those good Those are a games. lot of fun. Like the Star Wars, the, the Batmans, the Marvels. Any of those are apparently a lot of fun, so... You know, that's going to be our holiday shopping guide for video games. Uh, good ways to get them cheap, good games for little kids, good values in there, and just, you know, what the best new games out are. But hit us up, let us know what you think. Uh, any games that we missed that would be great values or anything like that, let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Words My Face on Twitter. WordsMyFace.com, Google Plus and Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us. But I think that's going to be...